Gorgeous, gorgeous girls. Y'all are hitting the creatine supply pretty hard. Don't get me wrong. I love it. But I don't think this is going to end well. I actually first spoke about this whole issue last year. I'll go ahead and throw a link to the video in the top right hand corner of the screen now. But since then, there's been yet another interesting development in this whole situation. And the development I'm talking about comes from none other than TikTok. I know, right? It all begins with a TikTok that I saw a good couple weeks ago, probably about three weeks ago, which was something to the effect of gorgeous, gorgeous girls take creatine and lift heavier, something like that, with the obligatory booty shots, you know standard fare for TikTok. I just sort of wrote it off as another trend that would stay on the app and cause maybe a couple other copycats like most of the trends do and then fade away as most of the trends do. Oh, was I wrong. Because not long after that, in the store I started to notice there was an uptick in women asking about creatine. I didn't think anything of it then. But then, every week after, I noticed that there was more and more and more women coming in. The increase was exponential. And it got to the point where it was just unprecedented. To the point where I was restocking the shelves five times in eight hours. And this wasn't because there was a bunch of men coming in looking for creatine. No, it was 90% women, predominantly women, asking about creatine. I have never spoken to that many women in a single day who were all interested in purchasing creatine. It was mind boggling. Now the real problem here is that in the first video when I was talking about this, one of the issues that I was speaking about was an emerging markets issue that was causing stress on the supply of creatine worldwide. And that of course still holds true. None of that's really changed, but now we have an additional source of a strain on that supply, which is a huge problem if especially the trend continues to hold and the growth pattern continues as it has and spreads not even worldwide, just across North America, which I think is very possible given the reach TikTok has in the first place. The game is changing completely. And with the huge rise in the female demographic who is interested in using creatine to help with their gains, this could end up putting a massive strain on a supply that is already in a very precarious position. As most of you have already noted in some of the other videos that I've done on this subject, you've hit the comment section and let me know. Prices are getting jacked up. Supply is all jacked up. You guys have already seen the results of it. And that was before this started. So what does that all mean? What could possibly be coming for us in the next six, eight months? Well, my prediction, and I'm gonna be honest here, speculation as well as a bit of a wish here, is that prices will be impacted before supply is, which means we'll probably end up paying even more for creatine even sooner than we thought we would be. Not the best situation, but sure beats the alternative where the supply just dries up real fast. But like I said, that's just as much speculation as it is me hoping for the best. And to think, all of this is very simply because of this. Just because of TikTok. Just because some girls got on TikTok and touted the benefits of creatine. Now, I'm sure a lot of you are already thinking, I've been saying creatine is positive for years and nobody listened to me, especially not my significant other. And yes, that is 100% true. But here's the thing about health, fitness, and really human psychology. It's a lot easier to take tips and notes from somebody if they look like the kind of person, shape, or image that you want for yourself. So, 
they're going to very easily take this person's advice over someone looking like this. I know. I don't make the rules. I just follow them, okay? Don't shoot the messenger. All that to say, Creatine's about to be in for yet another interesting half a year, if not longer. I have no idea if there is any end to this in sight. Honestly, I don't think there is. It's going to be a wild ride, and I have a feeling by December, I could be looking back at this video thinking, Oh, how naive we were. Oh, how lucky we were. If only we knew what was coming. <sighs> Strap in and double down. Get yourself some creatine. If you haven't already, go get yourself some creatine. If there's a sale happening at your local supplement store, make use of it. Because I really don't think supply is getting better. And you might want to get it while the prices are at least halfway decent. Because it's either going to vanish or get even more expensive. I really wish I didn't have to say that. Anyhow... That brings us to the end of this video, which is the third in what is now a saga on creatine, a whole series on creatine. Didn't think that was going to be a thing when I first started this, but hey, all in the name of content. If you guys want to watch it, I'll keep making them. I hope you guys found that educational, entertaining, enjoyable, and if you did, please head below the video, hit the like button, and of course hit the subscribe button and the bell so you can be notified of all of our videos as they come out. Of course, I'm going to put my social media links in the description below the video, just like always, so please follow me on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, and I'll also put my Patreon link down there as well. There's some really cool stuff going on there, uh, so please go ahead and check that out. Uh, I'll put some teasers up. Uh, there might even be some up already uh, for some of the content that'll be exclusive to patreon members so head over there see what's going on for the various tiers there's merch involved too so you know you can get yourself some cool stuff for supporting me the channel and what i am trying to do with this content and of course stay shining because the galaxy can only be a bright and beautiful place if we all shine together peace